what is up everybody it's your boy script the legend bringing you guys another youtube video once again on script oh i was about to say on scripted token on evergrow coin all right my fault my fault my fault now i realized actually after my last video was done that i did not give you guys like an outro thing to prove that you watched the video all the way to the end so watch the video all the way to the end and i'm i got you this time i got you i know some of you guys was like yeah i was i could tell some of y'all y'all was like a little thrown off by it. some of you guys were like um okay hey pr appreciate everything you do script the legend man just wanted to let you know that i appreciate you and i i appreciate you letting me know that you appreciate what i do all right for real for real. i really do appreciate it now the current price of evergo coin is six zeros four seven five three five three zero so it is down it is down 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 all right it is down below five uh, six zeros four five i think it could actually get down to like six zeros four honestly but we'll see uh as, as far as that goes the current market cap is 250 25 million dollars uh for those who are not aware that basically means that's how much money can go into like the um that that the team can basically use to hire no, more people or whatever now let's look at this trading chart all right you can see in these thick candles there's actually like some thick cells happening right here in this thick red candle you'll see that there is eighty three thousand dollars worth of selling action happening and then right in front of it is a two thousand dollar debt uh sell candle and then another one thousand dollar uh sell to sell a candle these are all 30 minute periods by the way keep that all in mind now we do have some like buying happening but none of them really are too like over the top you do have this twenty four thousand dollar trading out uh, 30, 30 twenty four thousand dollar trading period but then as time progresses you see a hundred k selling period uh you can honestly say like 90k if it was in sales or whatever and 10 10k was in buys you can tell by the thinness of the candle at the very top that there was some buying action that was happening during this time period and then you uh you continue on you see 8k 18k sell and then you see a buy that ch try to fight it off but then there was a seven thousand dollar sell to just basically make that neutral and then you see a 4k 33k um candle of far as far as sales go and then right here you see a 450 twenty thousand dollars i was having a hard time just saying it four hundred twenty seven thousand or twenty four thousand dollars sell thick red candle and then a sixty seven thousand dollar thick red candle then we have a 39k uh buying candle an 80k uh, uh buying candle and then 27 30k 30k 16k uh and then we have we have a lot of buying happening now to overcome that thick red candle it's going to take a lot to overcome 400k but we're doing a great job in eliminating it do i think a greater dip is coming yeah i do unless crypto can pull a reversal i don't think it's going to um evergo coin is going to continue its upward trend as far as far as the price goes i could very well be wrong but as far as where i'm now where i'm getting my analysis from I, a, I'm getting my analysis from the fact that, well, you have to include the Russia and Ukraine uh, possibility of a war going on over there and Ukraine being strictly crypto or wanting to go crypto route. And then you got U Russia who's against crypto or whatever. So it's really and putting on uh, two countries going to war is really going to make them tight for cash or whatever. So Ukraine might step away from crypto unless they, they've shown like they are. They're going to use crypto to beat Russia in this war or whatever, as far as like paying for their assets and stuff to beat Russia. Um, I don't, I'm not rooting for either one of them. I'm just giving y'all some news. The Evergrow coin holders or the number of people holding Evergrow coin is at 136,739. I didn't really pronounce that correctly. 136,739 holders. So we're seeing a good increase. We're seeing a good like 60, 70, 80 uh, new members to the Evergrow coin army or at least addresses. And then when you look at the trading volume is at $1.4 million, which is really, really, really good. And you can see that the the trading volume of crypto is up to 73.5 billion, which is great. It was previously at 55 billion the last time I recorded a video on Evergrow coin. And now it's up to 73.5 billion. That's great, 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 great. But the crypto market cap is down to 
eight trillion dollars. It's getting real close to just being flatline one point eight trillion dollars. Uh, so we, I would definitely love to see that change in the near future. Bitcoin's dominance is, is at 39.9% and Ethereum's dominance is at 17.5%. As far as how much of that trading volume is actually coming from uh, central exchanges and DX exchanges, uh, 1, 000, basically 100%, but technically 99.84% is coming from DX exchanges, where $1,367,000 are coming from DX exchanges other words known as pancake swap and then you have buy box providing two thousand one hundred twenty two thousand and l bank bringing 58.6 k so the, the l bank's um contributions has actually increased a little bit and bitmar has decreased uh substantially as far as what's happening with safe moon swap i have a subscriber who's actually letting us know in the comment section every time what they're doing what we're doing on pancake swap i mean on safe moon swap as far as what has been going on recently, we're seeing an average of like forty thousand dollars. I think the highest that we actually saw them being traded at, or th that we seen traded on their platform for the last twenty four hours, or a twenty four average, twenty four hour average was fifty six thousand dollars. So that's good. We're getting some nice extra cash added. So if we are even just seeing forty k, then we're seeing uh, from Pant Safe Moon Swap, then we're seeing one point four million dollars in trading volume in the 24 hours right now so that's really good that's really freaking good as far as twitter goes sam's continuing to be his classic ceo self uh great to see that despite the crypto markets falling and egc taking a big hit in the short term one thousands of or thousands of new investors join us each week this creates such a high or healthy platform for growth wells don't bring much to a project as they really top up but new investors tend to start small and build as sentiment improves those ten thousands of new investors we bring in each month will hugely beneficial once be hugely beneficial once the markets improve and our utilities go live warwick you got to get better at talking if you're not aware my name is warwick uh but scripted you got to get better at talking and you can't tell them your name again all right, so Evergrow Coin Sam also released another tweet. He said that I directed a couple of negative comments towards Legion CEO, other words known as Miles Nelson, in the past. I'm 100% certain now that he was not behind controlling the actions I objected to and apologized unreservedly. He's a good man. We'll work together to support the Crypto Positive Initiative and Unite Communities. I left a comment and said thank you um, or whatever. I said a couple other things, but I basically said thank you. Even though he wasn't apologizing to me, I felt like he should have, he uh, not should have, but I felt like that was also an apology to the YouTubers that he called um, corrupt. That he said that were corrupt and was um, being maneuvered in their minds were being swayed because of the money they were offered. Yeah. So if that if that apology was taken was sent to us as well, I accept your apology. If it wasn't, I didn't expect an apology in the first place. I'm moving on. <laughs> Evergrow Exchange isn't as far off as many think as it will be incredibly easy to buy EGC. There will um there will make a big difference. Uh it's in quarter 3, so the, I'm gonna tell y'all, don't expect it to be any sooner than quarter three. All right, that 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 that's just me talking to y'all. I'm not expecting it to be any sooner than quarter three, and I expect it to be late quarter three. All right, that's my expectation now when it comes to Evergrow Coin products. Sorry, not sorry. I mean, it's February 20th, and I'm waiting for a what's it called? I'm waiting for a release. I'm waiting for a, still waiting for utility to be launched. Evergrow Coin Sam also stated, I know the price drop is painful, but I'm actually glad that it is allowing our token to be distributed more evenly amongst smaller holders. I have no concerns with price in the longer term and feel this is a great opportunity to strengthen EGC for the long term. He also released another tweet saying, Today I feel like we put behind us some issues that have been eating away at our community for the last month. Adversity make you strong stronger and we've forged new alliances out of the fire 
that few predicted onwards and upwards feeling a new energy and positivity hashtag crypto positive uh and then that was basically it on sam's behalf when we go over to what the team has stated in their tweets really nothing they didn't really release any tweets today if, if not then at all uh i believe they did not really release any tweets evergo sam did release a while back as each of our utilities move further into development development i'm finding it harder and harder to pick a favorite but i already went over that so yeah no news on new new no new news on the crypto front as far as evergo coin is um concerned you know what i just thought about this is not a shot towards evergo coin this is um a warren buffett quote but it's funny how like one of the like heads of his investing firm is um just of but it's funny how one of the heads of berkshire hathaway hates crypto and actually came out i believe i might have been warren buffett i don't think it was him though but someone came out um and said um i do not regret trade on um, buying bitcoin at all i just find it funny how he said that and then like bitcoin goes up 432 percent in the last year or whatever and then you see like ethereum's up nine thousand percent and then you look at the stocks and they're up 87 percent but hey he love he loves his stocks so i can't blame him be you be you so i know who you are now let's go over to what is in the team dev wallet they have over seventy three thousand dollars in there so they could burn well over a billion they could burn what well yeah duh they can burn a hundred billion script of legend but yeah they can burn a hundred billion tokens and yeah as far as crater and all that all the all the utilities are concerned there's still no news on when there's going they're actually going to be launched we don't know if they're going to be launched today or tomorrow we are just uh, uh there's just been nothing that has been released now the billboards are coming out this week or whatever and i personally this is just my opinion you don't have to agree with it at all but you did click on my video so you're gonna hear it <laughs> i do feel like sam might have done there's three possibilities sam actually did feel bad about like what he did or whatever to uh miles name and integrity and to the cryptos name and integrity and actually wanted to apologize especially because of how he saw hey john was affected and other youtubers were affected as well they just didn't voice it like me myself um then there's also the possibility that because the billboards were coming out very soon that basically this week that and if you're not aware there's going to be billboards coming out in um salt lake city dallas texas and new york but because they were coming out this week he may have known or thought of the fact that people are going to try to do their due diligence and look up evergrow on twitter and you they was going to find like the hey john and evergrow sam tweets and stuff and then there's also going to see it on youtube and there's going to see just so much bad publicity for evergrow coin that would be like, okay, let me take a step back. I don't know if I want to invest in this. There's that. Or, you know, Safe Moon John <laughs> Caroni might have said, hey, you better cut it out, bro. You better fix this. <laughs> or, or else th that billboard marketing uh, partnership we plan. Cat. <laughs> I don't know, though. This is all speculation and me just having a good old time. Uh, just thinking of stuff and using my brain. Love you all. Y'all have a blessed one. Stay safe. If you watch this video all the way to the end, ooh, what we gonna say? Hey, okay. We're gonna say onward and upward to the future. All right? You know, that's a little too wrong. Oh, uh, dang. I, I heart my future. That's what we're gonna say, okay? We, we gonna say I heart my future, all right? One, two, three. I heart my future. Scoot the legend signing out. Y'all have a blessed one. Peace.